Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Bharad. I welcome you all to my series What Life Has Taught Me Yesterday. Today when I am recording this video is 29th of September 2023. I will be talking what 28th of September has taught me in life. Yesterday we had Ganesh Visarjan in Maharashtra. All across the Maharashtra and all across the globe, those people who are de uh, devotees of Lord Ganesha uh, were in a sad mood that we had to say goodbye to Ganesha uh, this year and let's hope that he will come soon next year so that we can enjoy Ganesha's company. So yesterday was Ganesh festival. What was my lesson of that day from that Ganesh Visarjan day I will be discussing in this video. Ganesh Visarjan is something where every person who is devotee of Lord Ganesha becomes a bit sad on that day because Ganesha who is a cheerful and very happy go lucky kind of person just like uh, perfect personality uh, wishes us uh, goodbye every year. What was the most important news I came across yesterday is about Interpol's immediate action in preventing a probable suicide. Now Interpol has prevented a suicide of a person living in Mumbai. How Interpol acted swiftly with the help of police and Google I will be discussing in this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about that. Most trending news I came across yesterday is about MS Swaminathan who, who is known as father of green revolution and he died at the age of almost 90 years, 89 years. He was called father of green revolution because he was the pioneer in helping the countrymen in getting enough food and because of his research and technology many advances were done in the field of agricultural. So what is that news I will be discussing in this video. Most important lesson I got from yesterday is that Ganesh Visarjan uh, is celebrated all across Maharashtra especially with lot of enthusiasm, lot of dhol, tasha, pathak that means lot of group uh, performances are there on the street. Uh, the place where I live since almost last 29 years uh, we the, at on that uh, near that place there is a main road from which almost all the uh, big big Ganesh Mandals uh, Ganesh uh, festival Visarjan uh, things rallies happen and people enjoy watching them so I did go there yesterday after finishing my job I went there and uh, enjoyed that uh, Dhol Tasha Patak celebrations uh, of Ganesh Visarjan. People are very much enthusiastic as far as uh, participating in uh, that Dhol Tasha Patak is concerned. Right from children to the adult people and older people also, they do uh, get involved. Especially ladies also, they like to celebrate Ganesh Visarjan with the help of uh, participating in such uh, Dhol Tasha Patak in various activities. Every person uh, has some kind of sadness in his heart obviously uh, to say goodbye to Lord Ganesha and uh, to ask him that he should come uh, next year very sooner uh, than earlier. But the most important lesson for me is that we all must uh, celebrate all our festivals with lot of enthusiasm but at the same time we must not create too much of noise or too much of uh, obstacles for routine life that means uh, road blockages and all should not hamper uh, someone who needs uh, that road uh, in emergency so that is the small lesson I felt that uh, we need to remember that though we are celebrating Ganesh Visarjan uh, any ambulance should not get blocked because of that uh, celebration so that a patient's life should not be put into risk because of our celebration so that is the most important thing I felt uh, otherwise celebrations were very good I we all enjoyed a uh, lot of almost thousands of people were there on the streets to enjoy that I'll be sharing uh, some photo in the thumbnail about that celebrations I have put a video also a beautiful video of all the Dhol Tasha Pathak uh, which participated near uh, that road and I have put a video of that also on my channel today morning so if you want to watch that how uh, celebrations were as far as Ganesh Visarjan was concerned in our place. I have put that video. Do watch that video. Most important news I came across yesterday is about Interpol's swift action from 
preventing about preventing a suicide now the story goes like this uh, it is a real story it happened just two days back interpol is something which keeps a watch on google now i did not know this i came to know through this this news and a person who is living in malad in mumbai he was trying to search best possible ways of committing suicide on his mobile on the google now interpol who keeps a strict watch on the google got the alert that a person is searching best possible ways of doing suicide uh, he is living at malad in mumbai so they immediately informed google google immediately informed the police local police uh, they gave they gave that person's number also to the police and within 2 hours of that search police was there in front of that person who was searching best possible ways of committing suicide now this is very interesting news as far as uh, the importance of that news is concerned because we have got a tool where we can prevent a life from getting destroyed by suicide so that is very important every person whoever commits suicide he or she does give some signals or does uh, remain somewhat different in the society whenever he is living or depressed or sad and he or she will definitely try to search he is more or less likely to more likely to search it on google so if he or she searches those ways of google on google of committing suicide and if these kind of things happen we will definitely be able to reduce number of suicides we encounter in the society and that is very good example probably that was the thing which encouraged me to in, uh, put this information in front of you that interpol google and local police intervention prevented a suicide from happening they immediately went to that man counseled him they asked him why did he why was he searching for various ways of committing suicide he said i was actually depressed and his mother is in jail is uh, she is not getting bail he was jobless so he was Uh, not thinking of any other alternative way than committing suicide because of police intervention and because of good counseling let's hope that he uh, rejects his idea and thinking of committing suicide and this is a very good example of a perfect use of internet and that internet interpol google and police acting cohesively to prevent a suicide which is a beautiful thing as far as i am concerned i i felt very happy that this kind of technology is helping people for uh, helping police from preventing this kind of uh, crimes like suicide in the society so most trending news i came across yesterday is about ms swaminathan he was called the father of green revolution he passed away uh, yesterday uh, that's a very sad news the contribution of ms swaminathan to the indian people and the indian society is significant he was the pioneer in developing various varieties of wheat and rice and which helped all the countrymen in having enough food supply now we all know 1960s and 70s was the period where uh, famines were uh, common and people were deprived of enough food even two time having two time food was a luxury for many people in 1960s and 70s in our country in that era if someone is developing very good varieties of wheat and rice which will be used for the future and which have actually been used by the indian people and they have overcome that level of poverty and hunger so that's a very significant news because of his fantastic contribution to the green revolution he was awarded raman magasese award world food prize award also and various awards by the international and national societies so he passed away yesterday that's a very sad news but this is the this is the news which should encourage us to focus more on research and technology and to think more and more positively towards all those people who are still hungry living on the roads they are still poor and finding the various ways of helping them so let's pay a tribute to ms swaminathan that is the most trending news i came across yesterday just wanted to share with you all so that you also come to know about knowing a person who revolutionized all the green revolution or harit kranti in uh, marathi you can say uh, in india and helped many hunger people hungry people 
in our country and other countries across the globe also to prevent hunger so that was it about today what did you think about that news of preventing a suicide by use of internet do tell me in the comment box please like share and subscribe to my channel for today we'll stop here bye bye